What's up? What's up? Your this is your man Jimmy Chan. All right, so we're going to talk about statements, uh, negations, and quantified statements. All right. So first, a statement is a sentence that is either true or false, but not both simultaneously. So let's take a look. So let's talk about what are statements. And what are not statements? Okay. So a statement would be something like there is a rainbow. Right? Well, either it's going to be true or it's going to be false, right? There, it's either going to be a rainbow or there's not going to be a rainbow. Um, not a statement. Stand still. Well, that's not a statement because that is more of a command. Right? Um... I don't like her dress. That's more of an opinion. Right? So that's not a statement. So a statement is either going to be true or false. Okay? So negation. So we wouldn't, would not negate things are not a statement. We wouldn't want to negate a command or negate an opinion. We want to only negate statements. So to negate the statement, it would be, so the negation would be, there is not a rainbow. Okay, there is not a rainbow. So that would be the negation of there is a rainbow, all right? So sometimes you could represent symbolically there is a rainbow. You can symbolize that with a P. Well, if you symbolize it with P, then the negation would be not P. But also at the same time, you might want to represent it with a symbol that will help you. Like, for example, there is a rainbow. Well, R seems right because I'm talking about rainbows. So negation of that would be not R or that squiggly line R, okay? So that would be the difference between statement and not statement and what the negation of it would be. It is not true that there is a rainbow. Uh, there, there does not seem to have a rainbow or does not have a rainbow, Right, so you can either say it any of those ways that you want, okay? Quantify statements. So with quantify statements, you can say, quantify statements are statements that have all, some, no, or none, okay? So <clears throat> there's the equivalent ones, like all A's are B, we can say that there's there are no A that are not B, right? Seems like a long way of saying it, but they mean the same thing. So if I was to put in a sentence, all poets are writers, well, there are no poets that are not writers. So we can do it that way as well. Some A are B. There exists at least one A that is A, B. Or that is B, right? So, in words to use in a sentence, some poets are writers. There exists at least one poet that is a writer, okay? So, notice that these ones here are staying positive, right? All A's are B, right? Some A are B. Now, with no, no A are B, then we would 
equivalent would be R A or not B. So no poets are writers. Equivalent with that would be all poets are not writers. Some A are not B. Not all A's are B's. So notice that the negation, or I shouldn't even say negation, the no is kind of switch when we go into equivalent stuff, right? This not was with B, and now the not is with all A's, okay? Now, we have to know how to negate these statements as well, all right? So to negate them, we will have to negate it this way. So all A's are B's, the negation of that will be some A are not B. Some A are not B, all A's are B's. So these actually go back and forth. So I just wrote this exactly opposite. Some A's are B's, well, opposite of that or negation of that would be no A's are B's. And same thing backwards. No A's are B's, the, the negation of that would be some A's are B's. Now the key is this, right? Because if I was to say to you that all would go, well, no, I shouldn't use that arrow. Well, the negation will be some. Which means some the negation will be all. And if we use some, the negation would be no. And for no, the negation would be some. But that gets confusing because you're like, okay, so when do I know when the sum goes to all or no, right? So the best thing to do is more of this. <clears throat> if I look back up here again, notice this. So for all, it's some A are not B, okay? So you gotta be careful with that when you're saying that, okay? So if I see some A are not B, then I know that it's gonna be all A's are B, okay? So if you look at the other sum, this says that some A are B, which notice this says some A are B, not some A are not B, okay? So the not is a key point of do I go towards all or go towards no? So since this is saying some A are B, that means I will have to go to no A R B. All right, and if, if it's no A R B, then I go to some A R B. So the A kind of stays, you know, uh, positive and the B stays positive, then I would go to no, okay? But if I say some, are, some A are not B, I know I have to go to all. All right, so it is true that all goes to the negation of some not. So that means if I see some not, then I will go to all as their negation. But if I just see some then that would go to no. And if I see no, then I would go to some, okay? So hopefully that helps. If there's any questions, let me know. See ya, bye.